I'm Bear Grylls and today I'll be showing you how to survive in the harsh climate of Sydney's southwest, Campbelltown. I may have survived the searing heat of the Sahara and the deadly jungles of the Amazon, but as we near the drop point, I get increasingly nervous like never before. While I'm used to dealing with Mother Nature's perils, entering such a densely populated area such as this presents its own, even deadlier predators, the Campbelltownians themselves. Here we go. Here in Campbelltown, it's just simply too dangerous to stop. So I'm going to have to do the jump and roll maneuver that I learned during my years in the SAS. Wish me luck. Campbelltown is a unique and challenging environment and as always I've done my best to acclimatise. To fit in with the beer swilling locals I got on the piss back at base camp and by the time I jump out of that vehicle I've already got eight beers under my belt. So if you look around here it's really quite astounding. Nowhere else in the world will you see this concentration of fast food outlets but Campbelltown. And while it may look like an abundant forest of nutrients, it's actually just artery clogging poison. If I were to eat any of this, I could die in under 20 to 40 years. Let's keep moving. As always in a survival situation, hydration is your number one priority. When you've had eight beers, your kidneys can pump up to six litres of urine in one hour, leaving you rapidly depleted of electrolytes and fluids. If I don't find fluids fast, I could die. Right. Well, I've managed to acquire myself some much needed fluids. While it may not look like much, Goon has one of the highest cost to alcohol ratios in the bottle shop. Let's get into it. Just want to get in here like this. Get the bladder out. And get stuck into it. The last thing I want to do is sober up and blow my cover. I could get stabbed or worse, end up in Campbelltown ED. I've eaten spiders, slugs and even drunk my own urine. But nothing's quite as bad as this. In any new environment, it's essential to get a sense of your directions and I can do this by using a trick that I learned during my years in the SAS. Just need one of my basic survival tools. Right, so we're this green dot here. We've just got to go over this way. Now with a sure sense of direction, I have to make the most of the remaining light. And as I navigate through Campbelltown, I have a clear destination in mind. I'm going to try and traverse one of the most dangerous places in the surrounding area, known to locals only as Max Square. On Thursday nights, it is here that an amazing cultural phenomena takes place, where all the young of the species gather, dressed in the latest Big W and Supre fashion, simply to hang out. Getting really close now. 
I'm going to try and get myself a closer look at one of these packs. It's imperative that I keep very quiet. I don't want to spook them. They're already incredibly emotionally unstable and have been known to spontaneously suicide. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. Did you get that? Well, that may have looked like a routine stabbing. In actual fact, this kind of play is just what the youngsters do to prepare themselves for a tough life in the wild. And tonight, this kill is my dinner. Sometimes, survival is simply a matter of being in the right place at the right time. Today's my lucky day. I'm Bear Grylls, and I'll see you lot next time.